How's it going guys? My name is Hunter Hero and uh, I felt like making another deck profile so I'm going to show off my Invoked Shadal deck profile. Um, this has been slightly tweaked. It's not a whole lot different than what I was running it at before the uh, the new ban list. But the deck's really fun. Uh, I like my, my purple decks um, as you'll come to realize. Um, yeah, that's, there's really a whole lot to this deck. It's super fun. Ever since the Shadal Structure deck came out, this thing has been a blast to play, and I'm very happy I have my hands on it. So, um, with all those introductions out of the way, let's uh, get down to it. Uh, so, for our first monster, uh, you could see this coming from a mile away. Rush Shadal Windy. Um, she wrote us really bad. So, um, she's flip summoned. Uh, she, yeah. You special summon from the deck. If she's sent by a card effect, special summon one from the deck, you can activate each effect once per turn. It's so good. Such great consistency. And she's a wind and a psychic, so yeah. Uh, this deck doesn't struggle there under there can be, but sometimes you worry about it. Uh, next up on the list, three should all beast. Um this is, funnily enough, your way to get out of Monarch players, because they are coming back. Um, you can kind of set one of your guys and just... Um, I've, I've set Wendy before, and then used uh, her special summon to just get me a tribute material for Beast. Um, he's really good. Uh, when you flip him face up, he becomes a Dark World Dealings, and then when he's sent to the graveyard by a card effect, uh, you can uh, just draw a card. Uh, that's, those are, that's a hard once per turn, and only once that turn. Um, he's pretty good. Uh, they're probably, I think they were list playing in two, but I like him in three, so, whatever. Three squid. Um, Squamata, the foolish barrel for the deck. Um, he actually has a pretty good, uh, destruction effect, at least for the time that Shadals were first out. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, a lot of my decks in, uh, not the highest rarity possible. But, um... Uh, his on-field effect is that if you flip base up, um, he targets a monster on the field and pops it, so it's not a bad removal, but you prefer to use him as material because he gets that, uh, graveyard set up. Alright. Three copies of Shadal Hedgehog. Um, sometimes you don't open your spell cards and you want to die, so here's your not die juice. Um, when he flips face up, he adds a spell or trap. Um, there is a trap card now, so, you know... Um, and then if it's sent by a grave, uh, card effect, you can add a, it's a, it's a Rota. So he adds, um, she special summons, just so you can discern the two. Um, pretty good. Um, for two ofs, uh, I play two dragon. Uh, this is more of a personal choice rather than, uh, like, uh, like meta-wise. Um, he spins a card when he's flipped up and then he, um, then he pops back row when he's used his fusion material. Um, I like that, especially in the uh, more current state of the game. Uh, popping back row is pretty effective. Um, getting the proc on your opponent's turn isn't as easy as it is with Fluffles, if you guys have watched that deck profile. But it's okay, he's still a really great card. Um, not a bad beater, though, also. Um, now for the one uh Ariel. Um, I was playing a build with two of her in the deck. I might go back to playing that because, um, we have, I have two new slots in the deck. Um, this was a 43 card list. This deck is kind of big. Um, but with Called by the Grave being cut to one, uh, I'm probably going to play a, uh, 43 card variant just with more, um, monsters in it. Uh, but what she does, um, flip, uh, you can target a banished at all monsters, especially summon it in face up, face down defense position. And then when she's used as a fusion material, um, you banish stuff. So she's like a mass, um, she's just like a mass graveyard banish. She's pretty good. Uh, there's the, the, the combo that you do with Ariel is, um, you use Wendy and I think Squid. I think that's it. Yeah, you use Wendy. Yeah, you use Wendy, Squid, um, to make, uh, or I can't remember what it is, but essentially you use Wendy to get her on board, uh, with a construct, and then you use the construct to make something else, um, summoning Ariel, and then you, uh, flip her up with the trap guard, and then summon back the construct to get another send. It's pretty strong. Um, 
can't remember. I haven't done that combo in a while. It's kind of bricky and more likely to get interrupted now, but eh, it is what it is. Um, Hound. Um, most people told me to cut this. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, he's pretty okay. Uh, you can take a Shadow card in your graveyard, add it back to your hand, and then if it's into the graveyard effect, you can uh, essentially do something. So this does what the the trap does uh, more often. Except it's not restricted to just your cards, it's everybody's cards, I think. Yeah, just any monster on the field and changes the battle position. It's pretty okay. Um, and then the last one's Falco. Um, wow, there's a lot of decks I play with just tuners you can't make Hulk of Firebreaks with. Um, you can uh, special summon uh, monsters face down when he's flipped up, and then when he, if he's set by card effect, he just summons himself back. Uh, those are both hard ones for turns, but it is still pretty good for maintaining board presence. Uh, normally this is what I'm using with Wendy to help try to out Monarchs because um, they'll try to like spot remove him. He's pretty good. All right, uh, we're getting into the uh, non Shadal monsters. Alistair, uh, this is Invoke Shadal. You need three Alistair. He is like the only thing you should ever be normal summoning if you see him in your hand. Uh, there have been hands where that's not the case because it's nothing but Shadal cards, but you can still make things work. Um... He searches invocation. He buffs your uh, your fusion monsters. Wait till damage calc to do that now. By the way, it's almost impossible to stop it. Um, he's really good. Uh, everybody should know what he does by now. He's that good. And then we're getting into the monster tech choices. Two snow. Uh, two not snow. Luna. Oh god! Imagine if we had snow. Um. So. Uh, when it's normal summoned, you can just add another copy of her, which is why I have the second one, just so that way she can uh, ash bait if um, Alistair's still... Uh, if uh, I've already done, like, Alistair, or if I don't have him in hand and have her. Uh, she'll search for another copy of herself, and then you can um, chain to things. Um, once per turn, you can target a uh, quick effect, target a uh, phase of monster on the field. And then your opponent has to send either a card of the same name from their hand or deck to the graveyard or have that thing get spun. It's pretty strong. It helps get out of some silly stuff. Uh, this is another way to out Monarch boards because if uh, they've cycled through like Karaz or something, uh, they're one or two Karazes, it'll uh, take care of that. And hold on, I got a spider in here. We'll take care of that. Oh, that's gross. I'm going to have to clean that up in a little bit. Sorry about that. I just saw a big-ass spider and didn't want that shit in my room. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, back to the deck profile. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, no, she's pretty good. Uh, pretty decent spot removal and an okay normal summon if the, you really are desperate for one. All right, let's uh, get on to the rest of the profile. I waste enough time. Trick Clown. I would be playing the rest of the Clown Engine if it wasn't the fact that I hate it, and it's kind of bad. <laughs> uh, hot takes. Um, again, he's used as the light target. Um, you don't have very many of them. I think I only actually have, like, two. But it really doesn't matter. Um, when we get to the extra deck, you'll understand why I play so few light targets. But uh, he recurs himself. You burn yourself for a thousand. Such a great card advantage. Uh, onto the spell cards, we have three copies of Shadal Fusion. Uh, use materials from your deck as long as your opponent controls the monster summon from the extra deck. Easy activation requirements, very great payoff. Wonderful card. El Shadal Fusion, three. Uh, quick polymerization, searchable. Nothing really much to say there. Meltdown. Uh, stops your stuff from being interrupted. Uh, turns all your spell cards uh, for fusion summoning into spell four, essentially. Searches Alistair. Does absolutely everything you're going to ever need it to do. Two invocation. Um, I've seen builds play three. I've seen builds play one. Uh, two is cozy. Um, if you don't know what invocation is, you've been sleeping under a rock. This thing vomits card advantage. This thing is fantastic. Um... Make sure your invocation stuff by either using monsters in just your hand, or if you're using, uh, if you're making an invoked monster, you can banish stuff out of either player's graveyard. So what you do is you'll banish Alistair in your graveyard, um, and then uh, go from there, or from your field, because it does allow you to use your field. Um, 
And then you can use that to make your, uh, your, your invoked stuff. And then you can uh, shuffle this back at the deck and then add Aster back. So that way uh, it's just a one card engine that just keeps recycling itself. It's pretty strong. I like it. I like it a lot. To knowledge. Um, I was playing three at one point, but getting Ashed over and over again got really annoying. Uh, just Pot of Greed helps get rid of uh, some of your um, shit all cards. Uh, sometimes they are quite big bricks, so having these around is quite helpful. Two copies of Avarice. Uh, playing a fusion deck, I've always valued being able to recur my deck when I really, really desperately need it. And Avarice kind of lets me do that, so I don't really need to explain too much. This thing's just crack. The one copy of Instant Fusion and the one copy of Called by the Grave. Um, I still play the um, the variant that allows you to make a uh, Kalaga with wind uh, on the board. It's still pretty okay, and the the one called by because this used to be playing three. Still need to play it. Um, and then for the last card, the forty one list is Reshidal Incarnation. This is the trap card I was mentioning. Um, this thing is really really good. Uh, you can target Shadal Monster in your graveyard, special summon in face up face down position. Um, and then you can banish this card, and one should all card from your graveyard, and then activate one of these effects. You can, uh, essentially flip up or flip down one of your guys. <laughs> Use this with Ariel to summon back, um, Construct to get more mills, so, it's really good. Uh, it's kind of bricky. Uh, I was playing two of these at one point. It wasn't that bricky, but it did get annoying. Uh, alright, with that out of the way, let's get to that extra deck, the, uh, bread and butter, so to speak. Alistair the Invoker of Madness. You saw him on the top of the extra deck. Um, this actually, funnily enough, isn't mine. I gotta give this back to Christian. But this thing is really good. Uh, two monsters with different types and different attributes. This thing is kind of hard to make in this deck, but uh, if you can make him, you really want to. He's always Alistair while he's in the field of graveyard. Uh, and then if yeah, he's a monster fusion summon while well, you control this monster, except during damage step, you can discard a card and then uh, add a Book of the Law or Invocation. So essentially, if you need uh, another invocation, you just keep fusing. You use Alistair uh, Ma of Madness and just grab you one. It's pretty good. And then if it leaves the field by opponent's card effect, uh, you can add uh, one Omega Summon, but we don't play Omega Summon, so. Crash Heap. I mean, he's one of the best Link Monsters ever made. Two El Shadal Apcolones. Uh, you summon this thing, it turns off a monster, uh, turns off something on the field forever. It must be fusion summoned. It must first be fusion summoned, and it can't be destroyed by battle. Uh, you can only use each effect of it, of, uh, of it once per turn. Is that if it's special summoned, target a face of card on the field, negates effects. And then, if it's sent to the graveyard, you can add a Shadal card from your deck or graveyard to your hand, uh, to your hand, then discard a card. Really strong. It does proc your other Shadal cards upon uh, it being discarded, so it's really consistent. I like it. Two copies of El Sh Shadal Construct. I get a lot of flack for this at locals for playing only two Construct. They're like, but Construct's at three. You should always be playing it at three. Well, sorry there, bub. I don't like Construct at three. Sure, it's a wonderful uh, case of I plus really, really hard. But it's also the case of, I really don't like running three Construct. It's very uncomfortable, and it kind of results in me breaking a lot. Uh, she pops things when she attacks into a special summon monster. She pops them, and then she grabs stuff at, uh, she mills stuff out of your graveyard, and just like most of the other shit all cards, um, they will add back your spell cards, uh, spells or traps from your graveyard back to your hand when they leave the field, so. Uh, for the one-ups, we have Winda. Uh, she stops special summons and cannot be destroyed by card effects. She's pretty solid. Uh, each player can only special summon once. Well, it's face up on the field, and then, um, yeah, she grabs stuff back. Gristia. I love this thing. Uh, this thing is kind of hard to make, but sometimes when you make it, it is kind of a blowout. Must first be special, uh, fusion summon. When your opponent was special summon of monsters and you have a Shadal card in your hand, you can discard that and negate the summon and destroy the card. And then it grabs stuff back. And you can only use that effect once per turn, but sometimes that once per turn is all you will need to um, just kind of blow your opponent out. And then Shakanaga. Uh, must, first be fusion, uh, must first be fusion summoned. Uh, and then uh, this is the negate. Uh, this is how you get out of... Um 
cross sheep a lot of the times, and then um, I was playing a list with the target that you normally use for that. I'm gonna double check. Yeah, I'm missing the El Mirage from this extra deck, but uh, this is also something you can make with the El Mirage that's supposed to be in here, so there's an El Mirage in this extra deck. Time for your invoked cards. You have invoked Mechaba. Uh, negate as long as you discard a card that matches types. Um, spells and uh, monsters pretty much exclusively. If you open the trap in your hand, you cry. Burgatrio. Game. Raging is a Book of Moon and is also one of the few ways to get um, Ariel to float if you have only Invocation and uh, Alistair. So, pretty good plus. Uh, Book of Mooning something on a pretty okay sized body is never horrible. Also, it's an instant fusion target, so if you really just need to spot remove something before you pop off, not a bad choice. Caliga. Um, Negates monster effects, so the uh, Winda Kalaga lock makes it to where they get one special summon and one monster effect, so they have to pick and choose. This thing wrecks Dogma. It's really good. I love this card quite a bit. Uh, he is very small, though, so that Alistair in hand is very important when it comes to protecting the Kalaga. And then um, the last card in this list, um, because I don't have my uh, oh, Mirage, is Elysium. Um, it's an invoked monster and then a monster summoned from the extra deck. Uh, so you will, you can make this with, um, like your Caliga and like a like monster they made or something that's in the graveyard. Um, yeah, so, uh, must first be fusion summoned with above fusion materials while face up on the field. Ooh, that like really badly messed up the glare. Sorry about that. So... Uh, it counts as all the non-divine uh, elemental types, and then you can uh, banish an invoked monster, including itself, and then just kill everything. Banish, I think. Banish everything? Yeah, banishes everything. It's super strong, uh, kind of a hype fest. The thing's not small by any means. I think it's like it beat over um, the new big dragon, so he's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to really do it for this one. Um... I really like this deck. Uh, I like the purple cards. I like them a lot. Um, just as with the last deck profile, um, I will like to present you guys with the option of... Uh, do you guys want to see this sealed only Yu-Gi-Oh? I feel like you guys aren't going to vote on it. But I would like some input and kind of what you want to see. I am getting in touch with a friend with an actual like computer, so that way these aren't all off my phone. To like edit in, you know, make them look professional-esque. Um... You know, as professional lights, I can make them as is. Um, we're going to be waiting till the Charmer Structure Deck to be doing that, so you have until the end of next month to do it. Um, we're going to be playing uh, these bad boys. I love them. I think I'm just... I, I'm excited for the Charmer Deck, and I just want to do something with it. So, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Um, keep watching these deck profiles, guys. I'm really happy to see you guys doing that. Um... And, uh, if you have any comments or anything, leave them down below, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time, alright? Bye-bye.